It's the most talked about prize in the art world, but this year the four artists redefined the competition by joining forces. The 2019 Turner Prize has been awarded to the collective. A radical move underpinned by the political nature of these artists. We quickly realised the shared ethos that runs across our otherwise very different practices. When there is already so much that divides people, we feel strongly motivated to use the occasion of the prize to make a collective statement in the name of commonality, multiplicity and solidarity. Through video, Helen Kamak explores the role of women in the civil rights movement in Northern Ireland. Weaving in songs of protest, her films delve into a history that informs the mass demonstrations we see today. In another video piece, Lawrence Abu Hamdan questions sound and truth. In a project commissioned by Amnesty International, he investigated the Syrian regime's prison at Sadanaya, a prison known for its torture where silence was brutally enforced. Abu Hamdan interviewed former inmates and used their ear witness testimonies to understand what happened there, a powerful work that wouldn't feel out of place as evidence in a courtroom. Sculptor Oscar Murillo has produced some rather creepy effigies staring blankly at a black wall with a chink of light. He says the work is about injustice, industry and capitalism. While Tai Shani's dreamlike work draws on feminist texts, she's created a mythical world with subtle references to mysticism and philosophy. The prize's co-curator says all the artists are equally deserving of the award. Winning the Turner Prize, even being nominated for the Turner Prize, being part of it, is a, a massive and amazing platform for an artist. We've had 93,000 visitors to the gallery. 7% of those have never been to um, a, a gallery before. Um, so you're getting your work seen by a much broader audience. The painter Turner once described Margate's sunsets as the most beautiful in Europe. But the artists nominated here are really pushing against what many expect art to be. Inside is not art as entertainment or aestheticism, but politics, with a capital P. These winners will now have the platform to communicate their politics and their message of solidarity to a global audience. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, Margate.